what made you want to tell this story? I don't think I ever wanted to tell this story. I think I only just recently started wanting to tell this story because I went to seek help. I really needed help, mental health, financial help, uh, medical help, my health in general was just, everything was falling apart and I gave it my best shot and tried my damnedest to do it on my own, working multiple jobs, you know, I was spending around like three to $500 a month just in like my meds and then, you know, an hour session every other, uh, every week for two years, 350, 50 minutes, you know what I mean? It was like the bills were just piling and piling and piling. I was kind of forced to tell this story because I couldn't find help. And I knew that there was a story and I knew that there was I knew, I knew that there was truth there. You know, I knew it wasn't just like this weird foggy memory. I knew there was truth there um, because of, you know, like I remember having that like aha moment with that situation where I was sitting on the couch watching the Jeffrey Epstein documentary and those documentaries on Netflix were, those were the, some of the first documentaries I watched where I learned the definition of sex trafficking, where I learned the definition of grooming, where I learned the definition of abuse, emo all of those things. I really had never Googled them before. And I remember like it was in the Giselle one, that's where it really hit me. It's like I had known for so long that there was a man that had caused and done I mean, that had harmed, you know, some like volatile things to me and made me feel lower than I've ever felt in my life, like more than my grandfather, my mother, any people combined can make me feel, but I had no idea that this woman was just as bad as him, if not worse, because she was the one that was bringing us to him.